Ah, the pivotal year of 2000, right at the cusp of the new millennium, a time that seems not too distant, yet history books will mark it for its significant moments. The Y2K Scare The year kicked off with a collective sigh of relief. The dreaded Y2K bug was a dud. Despite the panic and preparation, computers worldwide didn't collapse into digital anarchy as the clocks rolled over. We had all braced for digital Armageddon, but fortunately, it was a non-event. However, the amount of preparation that went into preventing a technological disaster was a noteworthy collective effort. Dot-com bubble burst up here in Portland. The echoes of the dot-com bust were pretty loud. The stock market took a sharp dive as internet-based companies that had incredibly inflated values started to deflate rapidly. This event wasn't just a market correction. It became known as the dot-com bubble burst. It killed a lot of startups and served as a harsh lesson in economic reality. Bush versus Gore. The presidential election overshadowed many other events that year. After a contentious battle, George W. Bush was elected president, but not without controversy. The election results in Florida led to recounts, a halt of these recounts by the U.S. Supreme Court, and plenty of political theatrics. This decision effectively swung the election in favor of Bush, a major political event that shaped the next eight years, USS Cole bombing. On a more somber note, in October, the USS Cole was the target of a terrorist bombing while it was docked in Yemen. This tragic event, which killed 17 American sailors and injured many more, was a prelude to the broader terrorist challenges the United States would face in the following years. Submarine USS Greenville Collision Back on the home front in February, the submarine USS Greenville accidentally struck and sank a Japanese fishing training vessel, the Ehime Maru, off the coast of Hawaii. This unfortunate incident strained relations with Japan and brought questions about civilian involvement in military operations. These events, among many others, shaped the United States in various ways. It was a year of high tension, technological challenges, and political shifts, a starting point for the complex times we'd navigate in the early 21st century. As I reflect on that year, strolling through the evergreens of Portland, I'm reminded that history is continually being written, one pivotal moment after another, and we're all part of its narrative. 